we're going to show a diagram that's a little bit more realistic. The diagram that I showed you previously is really kind of a, an artist's conception of how it works. Here's a diagram, and don't worry too much about what it's a diagram of, like what the particular system is. I just chose this picture randomly from the web to show a more complicated architecture. What I want you to see here is how it usually looks, how, the, how these, these tiers are in actuality when you have a more complicated system. So we still have on the top the browser that's receiving the page. We still have the internet, but notice the internet in this diagram is really reduced to just a little arrow. We don't care so much about the internet, and that's consistent with what I was saying earlier, that the internet is just kind of presumed to be there. We don't have a, a specific name for it in our architecture. It's just the pipes that get the information from place to place. But then we do have this server that's creating the page, but look at how complicated that server is. All sorts of interacting parts that have different names, all sorts of stuff going on with that server that's more complicated than just processing. And when we finally get to Facebook, we're going to, we're going to look a little bit more in detail at how their server is put together and what the major parts and pieces are of it. Okay, so now we can look at this again from the idea of the tiers presentation tier, which is the browser or the, the web phone or the other PDA or whatever it is that you have, um, the processing tier and the data tier. Notice the, both, both the processing tier and the data tier are both on the server, loosely speaking, on the server, that's what we'll say, but they're different parts and they're different named parts. So again, we have those three tiers, but notice the processing tier and the data tier themselves are more complicated and have lots of different parts to them. Okay, so that's where we're going. We have the three tiers, the presentation tier, the processing tier, and the data tier. And we're going to get now more sophisticated about them, and we're going to call them the tiers. And we're going to look at how those work in Facebook. So just as a final reminder, the idea of tiers. Complicated web systems have lots of different parts. We organize those parts into tiers to keep them separate, to be able to talk about them. We usually talk about at least three tiers, a presentation tier, a processing tier, and a data tier. And we label them as being further and further from you. So closest to you is the presentation tier. That's what you interact with the most. You open your browser, there's the presentation tier that's happening inside your browser. Further from you, across the internet on some server, is the processing tier. And then either on the same server or quite likely in the systems that we're going to study for sure, on other servers that are interconnected in lots and lots of different computers all talking to each other is that data tier.